Ken Coleman, Get Clear Career Assessment. Find the work you're wired to do. Picture a world where everyone loves their job. The barista at your local coffee shop greets you with a genuine smile, the bus driver whistles a happy tune, and even the government employee in a customer service role seems cheerful. This may sound like a fantasy, but it's actually possible to create this world. It all starts with finding a career that truly fits you by understanding and working with your unique talents, passions and mission. When you're operating in your wheelhouse, doing work that fires you up and makes a meaningful impact, you're more excited to tackle the day ahead. You're not just going through the motions while counting down the minutes until the workday ends. You're engaged, active and energised by the tasks at hand. This scenario doesn't have to be a mere dream for you. This blink will help you identify your talents, passions and missions. By further understanding these key elements, you'll gain a crystal clear picture of the types of work that will bring you both success and satisfaction. So enough with playing it safe. Time to ditch that dead-end job and chase the career you were made for. Understanding your talents. Did you ever attempt to use a butter knife as a screwdriver? It's a disaster waiting to happen. Similarly, trying to succeed without using your natural talents is just as inefficient. Your talents are the power tools in your toolbox, designed to make tasks that leave others flustered seem like a breeze. To figure out the right career for you, it's important to understand what your talents are. Let's consider eight categories that many talents fall into. 1. Communication you have a knack for expressing ideas, understanding others, and making connections. Whether it's through writing or speaking, you've got a way with words. This talent shines in two areas of work, people and ideas. We'll talk about these areas of work and two others in a later section. 2. Connection You're the friend who remembers everyone's birthdays and has a huge network. Your ability to connect and converse with others is truly impressive. People-oriented tasks are where you truly thrive. 3. Execution You're all about getting things done. You set goals, make plans and follow through like a boss. The work areas concerning processes and objects are your strong suits. 4. Imagination You're bursting with creativity. Curious and innovative, you see the world in a unique way and effortlessly connect ideas and possibilities in ways others might miss. You have a knack for ideas, processes and objects-oriented tasks. 5. Inspection You've got a keen eye and a curious mind. You love to analyse and learn, always seeking to understand the world around you. Your skills are particularly strong in the ideas and processes areas of work. 6. Justice. You've got a strong moral compass. You're not afraid to speak up against injustice and work best when involved with people and ideas. 7. Organisation. You're the one who keeps everything running smoothly. You thrive on structure and clear expectations, turning chaos into order. Ideas and processes work highlights your strong skills. 8. Persuasion. You inspire change in others. Your charisma and compelling communication skills make you a natural leader and influencer, especially in people and ideas related work. Now think about your strengths and determine whether each category represents your super, solid or subpar talents. Your super talents are the things you're insanely good at. The game plan is to lean into these strengths as much as possible. Keep honing them and you'll be unstoppable. Your solid talents are like your trusty sidekicks. You're pretty good at them and, with some effort, you can even turn them into new super talents over time. As for your subpar talents, these are the things you're not exactly a rock star at. Don't waste energy improving them. Trying to turn a weakness into a strength only leads to frustration. Don't get caught up in trying to be perfect at everything. Instead, focus on the things you're naturally good at. Lean into what you do best and let those natural talents guide you to success. Understanding your passions. 
It may surprise you to learn that the secret to finding a fulfilling job is pretty simple. Just do what you genuinely love. Think about it. When you're really into your work, it doesn't even feel like work anymore. Time slips away and you actually look forward to the daily grind. That's why it's so important to dig deep and figure out what your true passions are when it comes to your career. Pay attention to the things that get you pumped up, the things you feel energized to do. These are your true passions. Ideally, you should aim to spend about 75% of your workday immersed in these activities. Passions can also be something you like. These are the tasks you enjoy, but not quite as much as your true passions. They can keep you engaged for a while, but prolonged exposure might get you a little bored or burnt out. Try to limit these activities to around 20% of your day. Then there's the dreaded happy to lose it category, the work that makes you want to take a nap or pull your hair out. We all have to power through some less than thrilling tasks sometimes. But the key is to keep those to a minimum. Aim for no more than 5% of your time and definitely don't get stuck in this kind of work forever. Let's take a closer look at work-related passions. Here are some categories they might fall into. 1. Analyzing. You find yourself getting lost in the details and uncovering the root causes of issues. You thrive doing processes and objects-oriented work. 2. Finishing. You take pride in delivering top-notch results. You make sure everything is polished and perfect before the final deadline. Your strengths lie in processes and objects. 3. Making. You're all about the joy of hands-on creation. You're skilled with tools and enjoy constructing practical, original items that improve people's lives. Ideas and objects. Oriented work is your forte. 4. Performing. You're a natural-born entertainer. Whether you're acting, speaking or competing, you love nothing more than putting on a great show. Your expertise is evident in work involving people and ideas. 5. Solving. You're known as the go-to person when something's broken or not working right. You thrive on finding solutions and fixing what's wrong. People, Processes and objects-oriented work is where you excel the most. 6. Teaching. You're passionate about education and thrive on developing innovative ways to communicate ideas and help people master new skills. You perform exceptionally well in people, ideas and processes-oriented tasks. It's important to understand your passion spectrum to maximize your time with what matters most to you. Chase those passions and you'll find the sweet spot where success and happiness meet. Understanding your missions. What gets you out of bed in the morning? For some folks, it's the allure of that first caffeine jolt. But for others, it's the burning desire to make a real difference in the world. It's the eagerness to step into the office, knowing that you're about to work on something truly meaningful. Once you understand your mission, the underlying why, behind what you do, work becomes so much more than just a job. Missions fall into six categories, each with its own unique flavor of impact. One, achievement. You're a go-getter who thrives on setting goals, rising to challenges, and basking in the glory of your accomplishments. When you surpass your targets, earn a promotion, or come out on top, you feel an incredible sense of significance. Two, Creation. As someone driven by innovation, your purpose is found in birthing new ideas and positively affecting the world. Whether it's developing groundbreaking products, designing stunning websites, or composing heartfelt music, you feel a deep sense of fulfillment in the act of creation. 3. Efficiency. Meaning for you is found in streamlining processes, creating order, and ensuring everything runs like a well-oiled machine. What excites you is ticking off items on a checklist, improving a sluggish workflow, or organizing files to perfection. 4. Influence. Connecting with people and guiding them towards positive change defines your mission. You feel empowered by making a tangible difference, whether that's selling a product, training a team, or counseling individuals. 5. Service. 
you derive meaning from helping, protecting and caring for those in need. Turning around an unhappy customer's experience, offering crisis support or advocating for the vulnerable makes you feel alive. 6. Solution When you contribute to your organisation by addressing complex issues and crafting innovative solutions, your work becomes purposeful. You get a real kick out of solving puzzles, improving outdated systems and fixing broken things. You can place these six missions into three distinct groups to gain important insight. First, there are the missions you care about deeply. This group strikes a chord with you on a personal level, becoming a quest you feel an innate drive to pursue. It aligns with your core values and represents the goal you need to achieve to feel genuinely fulfilled. Your secondary missions are those you connect with. They may not be your priority, but they're also pretty important to you and shape the kind of work you go after. Finally, there are missions you couldn't care less about. These are the ones you should minimise. They might seem obligatory, but if the outcomes of your efforts hold no personal significance, it can result in a troubling sense of worthlessness. To safeguard your mental health and job satisfaction, steer clear of such work whenever possible. Understanding these missions and the groups they fall into for you can guide you towards a career that's deeply meaningful. By aligning your professional life with missions that truly resonate, you can find greater satisfaction and fulfilment. Understanding when you perform best. At this stage in your journey, you'll have discovered what your talents, passions and missions are. Now, it's time to find out exactly which type of job you're most suited to do. There are four main areas of work to consider. People, ideas, processes and objects, each requiring different skills and interests. People-oriented work is ideal for those who thrive on human connection and are energised by helping others. Ideas-oriented work suits those who are creative and enjoy brainstorming and collaborating. Process-oriented work is perfect for people who love efficiency, organisation and problem-solving. And finally, objects-oriented work is best for those who enjoy working with their hands and creating tangible results. Most jobs involve a mix of these areas, but understanding which ones you gravitate towards can guide your career choices. One way to gain clarity is to create a five-column chart plotting your top talents and passions across the different areas of work we just explored. Begin by listing your talents and passions in the left column. Then, write the name of each of the four areas of work at the top of the remaining columns. Reflect on which work area each talent and passion excels, placing check marks in the corresponding column. For instance, if you're gifted at active listening, you'd plot a point under people-oriented work. After completing the chart, observe the distribution of check marks. The area with the highest concentration of check marks likely aligns with your unique combination of talents and passions. This should be the focus of your career exploration. Ultimately, the insights gained from this exercise should be used as a launching pad for further reflection and investigation. It's not always a straightforward path and it may take some trial and error to find your niche. But by understanding your unique strengths and passions and exploring how they align with different areas of work, you'll be well on your way to building a career that brings both success and satisfaction. So take the time to reflect, get curious, and trust your instincts. Your dream job could be just around the corner. Gaining clarity. By now, you know that the key to a fulfilling career is aligning what you do best with what you love most and the results that matter to you. When you use your unique talents and passions to serve a mission you believe in, work becomes truly meaningful. One way to bring these key elements together is by crafting your own purpose statement. Think of this as a description of your ideal job and the impact you want to make. With this self-awareness, you can evaluate your current situation to gain clarity on the direction you need to take next. The first step of this evaluation is going beyond simply knowing your results. You need to truly embrace this vision of your authentic self. When you genuinely believe in your natural wiring, you'll have unshakable confidence in who you are and what you're meant to do. Next, take an honest look at your current situation. 
Track your tasks for a week and sort them into boost or drain categories to see how much of your work energizes or depletes you. Compare this to your purpose statement to gauge how much time you're spending on truly purposeful activities. Armed with this knowledge, have a conversation with your leader about better aligning your role with your talents and passions. Share your purpose statement, task analysis and ideas for optimising your fit within the team. A supportive leader will work with you to adjust your responsibilities, but if they're not open to changes, it might be time to look elsewhere. And don't forget to share your career vision with your network. Clearly expressing the work you're meant to do can open exciting new job opportunities. By gaining clarity on your current situation, you'll empower yourself to find or shape your ideal role. One where you maximise your talents, do what you love and achieve deeply meaningful results. This process of self-discovery and alignment is the foundation for a truly fulfilling career.